All right, YouTube. This is Guerrero Debarrio. I'm back here with the crew. Got my boy Lightbright. Got Don Mega. And got Black Magic with us. So, today we're talking about the association. Big news today. We got a trade going on. Yo, Lightbright, why don't you shed some light on this trade and what's going on here? Uh, hey, wait, we ain't going to do no intros? So, as far as uh, in, in today's trade news, Chris... Christophus Porzingis from the New York Knicks got traded to the Dallas Mavericks. Now, what that included was the Knicks sent Porzingis, Courtney Lee, and Tim Hardaway Jr. to the Mavs in return for DeAndre Jordan, Wesley Matthews, and Dennis Smith Jr. and a couple first-round unexpected picks that we have not heard yet. Interesting. Um, why? What, what What? brought this upon, like, out of nowhere? Um, as far as we can tell right now, uh, Christophus Porzingis went to the Knicks management and was talking to them about how unhappy he was with the management as far as bringing talent in and to help him actually contend. And management took that, I guess, as him saying that he wanted to be traded. So, with that being said, they ended up trading him and trying to get some value because his contract did end at the end of the season. Andrew, well, speaking of uh, contracts, ending, isn't Matthews and uh, Jordan's contracts expiring this season, too? Um, Actually, Matthews' contract is expiring, but DeAndre Jordan, when he signed with the Mavs, he actually signed a two- to three-year deal. Hmm, interesting. Hey, Don Mega, what do you think about this trade? Because the Mavs have that breakout shooting guard. What's his name? Luca something. Very good. Uh, exactly. I mean, you got Borzini coming in now. What do you think of this, Don? I'm going a, I'm to a say this, and I'm going to say this one thing. I'm a Knicks fan. Mm. What in the heck was they doing trading Christoph Porzingis? It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Why would you give up Christoph for six? That was the best thing we had since Melo. And, and we still was losing. So I don't I don't know if this is just a, a, a are we tanking? Are we are we trying to get Zion? I don't I don't know. I don't I have no idea what's going on. This was the stupidest trade in the entire world, especially linking him up with Luka Doncic. Like, bro, I I don't understand. And they not only did they ship him off with other good players, but they shipped him off in the east. Like, if you're going to ship him, take him to the West. You know what I mean? So you don't got to face this man. You're going to have to face him multiple times a year. And you know what kind of a player he is. He is a baller. He, he falls out. You know what I mean? Like, so why are we sending him to another Eastern Conference? It never makes sense. It doesn't make sense. It's stupid. It is ridiculous. I, I, am, I, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. DeAndre Jordan is washed. Who else did they get? Yeah, Wesley Matthews as well. Well, I asked y'all that question because it don't matter who they got. <laughs> because Christoph Porzingis like, is, the, is the man, bro. Like, every player that was in that trade, Christoph Porzingis was the best one. Yeah. And Nick yeah. Definitely the biggest notice. What about you, Black Magic? I know, you're, I know you're a Lakers fan, so this really doesn't affect the Lakers as badly. As uh, Don said, because it's an Eastern team and everything. What do you think of this trade? Man, this trade is absolute. <laughs> 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 I can't. <laughs> for words, to put my for words, I can't believe this trade is actually about to happen. Like, it oh, already happened. Oh, all right, all right. Well, correction. Thanks for correcting me, my brothers. Thanks for correcting me. But I can't believe this trade actually already happened. Like, like why? Like, like what? Like why? The, the Knicks. The Knicks are losing so much. Like, you gave away like hey, your, I'll be your, right your best player. The best, the best one on the whole team. It's the best player. You gave away your best player for for who who did the Mavericks have? They had what? Hardaway Jr. Uh, DeAndre DeAndre Jordan. DeAndre Jordan. They had uh uh. 
Who else? Who else was well, they, they 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 sent they sent Wesley Matthews and DeAndre Jordan to the Knicks. They sent um Wesley Matthews. Yep. Because the Mavericks. The Mavericks, the Mavericks, along with Porzingis, they got Trey Burke, Hardaway Jr., and Courtney Lee. But, I mean, no, they, they got, wait, what was that guy's name you said that was coming from the Mavs? Wesley Matthews, DeAndre Jordan. Wesley who? Matthews. He's irrelevant. I don't even know this guy. Who is he? He's but, not a Christmas. But, but the Knicks, the Knicks got, um, they also got two uh, first round picks, I believe. So I mean, do, are the Knicks looking to just kind of staff? Whole entire deal out of that whole entire trade. They got three players and two first round picks, I believe, is what I was told. So I mean, do you, are the Knicks looking to stack up some draft picks, maybe, or trading power think, for picks? I think, I, think, I think they have to be going for Zion. You think you think they're going for Zion? They have to be. There's no other reason for them to make this ridiculous. If they have two, if they have two first round picks, yeah, that's rebuilding automatically. That screams rebuilding phase. They're probably trying to get because what they're lagging right now. What they're lagging right now. They're lagging a um, point guard, and right now, obviously, either a power forward or. A, uh, center. Mm-hmm. And, and w- you thinking Zion will come in and be that power forward for them and everything? Definitely. Um, One thousand percent. I, mean, uh, I don't. I don't know. Like he's making he's making college players look like I mean, middle school players. Zion plays good, but then like like he's playing like he's in college right now. And well, like, is Zion playing good because of who he has with him, though? Yeah. I mean, but he's he, got two I other. Think, I don't think. But think about. The, Think about his supporting cast when he gets back, or if he gets drafted by the Knicks. Exactly, is there a supporting cast in the Knicks for Zion? I mean, he's got a great supporting cast in Duke. I mean, those are other. I mean, what's his name? Um, oh Jesus, the name just left me. Point guard for them. Uh, uh, uh Bar- Garrett or Barnett or something like that. Barrett. Yeah, yeah Barrett. Barrett. Barrett, like Barrett. Yeah. I mean, you know, I think he was like the number one prospect or something over Zion and everything. And I mean, I mean, Zion's got a he's got a huge supporting system in Duke right now. Is that is can that explain for how well he's playing in Duke at the moment? Will that transfer over into the NBA with the Knicks? Though? I honestly, in my personal uh, opinion, I'll be completely transparent with you. This dude's the next LeBron. Interesting. This dude is a generational player. He is a baller. He is a dog. He is. He's got height, weight. Uh, he bullies the paint. He absolutely bullies the paint. And everybody, like people, always worry about his perimeter shot. But when you're that dominant on the inside, you don't need that perimeter shot. But check this. Right off the bat. Check this. But check this. Do you see the way that he's developing right now? What do you mean? The league right now, pretty much, like, if you can't shoot, you're not going to win this game. If you ain't got shooters, you ain't going to win this game. You can dominate the game all you want. You can get all the assists that you want. You ain't going to dominate. You ain't going to dominate that three-point shot. Yeah, the the, 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 the... Averaging right now. They are averaging 38. Plus points a game. But that's not. Let that sit. And do you can't like that. This is Shaquille O'Neal, bro. Jump. Like he's dominant. He doesn't need that perimeter yet. He'll get it in four or five years. But that's a different era, though. We're talking about right now. We're talking right now. Like Steph Curry right now is doing something that nobody else has ever done right now. Bro. So you're you're saying that the the association has gone into a three point era. Like it's all about the three point shooters and oh, no, you know no. long range, mid range. Three point era, just a shooter era. Shooting this era. This is my thing. All right, shoot. this is my thing. About, like, and I shoot in the paint. You can shoot two. Two steps away from the three-point line, still make a jump shot. You can shoot literally 
40 foot, like literally 30, 40 footer, three point. This two. is my thing though. Like, like people think that it's a shooting league and that, right. that might be true, but all right, I'll even compare it to the NFL. The NFL now is a passing league, but the teams with a running game mm-hmm. win. Exactly. The teams with a running game win. Look who's in the Super Bowl. Todd Gurley on the Rams. Bruh, but check this, but check this, but check this, but check this, but check this. You need that, but you need that paper. The Rams, Todd Gurley. Todd, what round did Todd Gurley come in? First. He was the first rounder. Okay. What round did, uh, what's his name? Uh, their quarterback. What can I think of his name? Jared Goff. He's he was a first, first, over, first overall run. He was number one. Number one. Yeah. First of all, right? First of all, bro. What you eating? Hey, hey, everybody, what you eating? What you eating? Everybody, yeah, everybody, every, every NFL said oh. that Jared Goff was going to be a bust in the NFL in his first year. His first year, he was kind of a bust, though. Yeah, he was, I was like, okay, cool. But I was like, all right, this man's going to bounce back. What did he do in the second year? They went to the playoffs, yeah. But do you think that's more due to having a coach, though? Sean McVay is more closer to their you know how age. He is, though. Dude's only 30. What, 33? Exactly my point. Like, don't you – do you think that's why Jared Goff bounced back the way he did? Because they have a coach that can relate better to their age and the way they play instead of these older coaches like Andy Reid and Belichick who are used to the older ways? But look at the playmaker. Look, look, look at the playmaker around him, bro. Look at Tyler. Wait, 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 wait. I got one for you. Oh, you think that the Chiefs – you think that the Chiefs wouldn't be in the Super Bowl if they didn't have Kareem Hunt? You said what? You need that running game, just like you need that big man that can sit you in the paint, block shots, the football, if you want put to make it back to the board, and, and, and dominate. That's exactly what you need to be. You need to be a balanced team. You need to be balanced in coaching. You need to be balanced in special teams. You need to be balanced in defense. You need to be balanced in offense. You need to be balanced in discipline, and you just need to be overall balanced. Okay, so, all right, all right, but see, that's the NFL, but we're talking about, okay, but back to the association, though. Do, what if, can't a balanced NBA team be just as more at, dominant than an all-shooting team? Look at what LeBron did in his first couple years. LeBron was a shooter. LeBron was not a scorer. He bullies, and that's what Zion does. And I, I just, when he gets into the league, he's going to bully these people. This is a this is a little kid in a grown man body. So this dude is huge. Okay, and he plays big. His ball. His ball. He plays big. Okay, so 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 you think that's why the Knicks made this big trade, this out of nowhere trade, just so they can get this kid? So this trade was more of a was this trade more of like a publicity stunt so they could get Zion and maybe put money put put fans in the in the arena Madison Square Garden bring fans in and get this exciting player. Hey, at the end of the season. We'll- we're gonna know who's gonna get Zion. Trust me. Because I mean, well, I mean, this no one knew about the talks. I mean, this just happened out of nowhere. No one knew that the Knicks were thinking about trading away one of their, not one, the star athlete, and uh, and to the Mavs, the Mavericks have been balling out this year. I mean, you got Luca, who's just who's favorite to be Rookie of the Year. I mean. Oh, he is- I mean, I mean, that man can ball. No, that man can ball. And you're putting, and you're putting a Porzinski with him. I mean, you just, you just giving him more weapons here. You just giving this kid more of a reason. You giving the Mavs more of a reason just to go to the finals. Here, you, you just, you trying to stack that team up. I mean, what, what is your thought process? But but they gotta go through. 
They gotta go, but I mean, are they trying to stack? I mean, are they trying to stack up? Are they trying to prepare for the playoffs? I mean, what are the Mavs' thought process here in getting this kid? Now, I mean, yes. Now, I, mean, I 1,000% believe that they are going, they're, they're planning to make a deep run into the playoffs. With that trade, yes, definitely. So, Definitely. so their thought. This is a this is a business perspective and how they want to play in the postseason for the Mavs. Is that's that exactly, that's, that's what, exactly, what you're saying? That's exactly what where I'm where the Knicks saying. for the Knicks it's a complete opposite. The GMs and the owners got together. They sat there and they made a it's, it's, it's a decision like. But do you I'm think trading simple decision yet? Because we don't know like what could possibly happen like in mid season or like before even the season starts. Like, you know. But I'm telling you, they were talking about something. They were cooking up something. Do you think uh trading away these two first rounds for uh, for the Mavs, you think that's gonna hurt them? You think it's gonna affect them in the future at all? Or you think <laughs> having like the if 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 uh, like if if the roster that they're trying to build at the current moment, right now, does it work out? Oh yeah, it's most definitely gonna hurt them in the future. Okay, interesting. So, well, that's like, like right now they're like they're they're in the rebuilding phase right now. That's what they're trying to get for Zingers. Bro, we've been rebuilding for, and this is a Knicks thing. We've been rebuilding for ten uh, years. I be y'all y'all beat the. Wait, are you a Marvix fan or a Mavericks fan? No, he's no, Knicks. I'm a Knicks fan. Oh, I was about to say, like, I, I was talking about the Mavericks though. The Mavericks haven't been relevant, like, honestly, ever since they won a championship against the Heat when LeBron was there. Oh, that was like, that wasn't ten. That wasn't, that that wasn't too was long. Really that was like two thousand. No, that was about to be it was like, wait, when was it, 2012, right? I think so. I think that's no, when LeBron no, was. No, because LeBron was only with. No, uh, no, 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 no. Because the Lakers won 2008, 2009. Yeah. 2007, 2008. Yeah, because LeBron, the Heat mm-hmm. went on a three-peat in like 2012 and stuff. Peat. Yeah. Okay, well, so speaking of trades, then let's uh let's talk about the big, big one that everybody's been talking about with Anthony Davis, the brow. You know, that's a big talk right now in the NBA. Where is he gonna go? Is he gonna go LA? Is he gonna go Boston? Is he gonna go anywhere? You know, he's going somewhere, but it's not going to be LA or Boston. Nor he's Boston. He's gonna go to a a, a a team that's not all that great or something. They're going to get something out of them, but Boston or LA, they're not. They're not giving up all the all that young talent. They're just not going to do it for him to not resign next year. All right, he's definitely, definitely, definitely not coming to LA. I will tell you that much. Not right yet. Now. Not he's yet. Definitely not coming to LA. He's definitely not coming to LA. LA, I mean. We offered him some money. He was sitting there thinking about it, and he was like, "Yeah, nah. You already got that nigga Bron. He wants his own team, like he did." And ah. he you know what I'm saying? Like you know what I'm he saying? He don't want his own team, though. No. Yeah. Like that, but AD has never been a leader, bro. AD has never been that. That guy. No, 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 no. I'm not saying like the leadership. I, I don't know. He's he. Go he's gonna go to a team. He's gonna go to a team that has like a co-leader. Bro, like that's my point. I don't know. He 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 filled that leadership role in Kentucky pretty well. He did. But, like, look at his time in the league. He's been in the league for eight years, and he uh, yeah, he's literally. dominant. Don't get me wrong. This this man was going to get you twenty five and twenty a night. You know what I mean? He's going to get you that, but he don't get that dog. Get you 25, 10, he, 12 a night. Every day. Yo, he ain't got that dog in him, though. He ain't got that dog. He ain't, he ain't no, no leader yeah, like that would be over a game and stuff like that. That's because that's, that's he hasn't been in an organization that knows how to breed great players. When has the the Pelicans, a.k.a. What, what, what were they even called before? The, what, the, uh, um, 
What were they even called before, Sean? No, it was the it was the Hornets. Yeah, the, Hornets. the Hornets. It was the Hornets. The New Orleans Hornets. Right? Yeah, they were the Hornets. Yeah. When were they ever good? Except for back in the uh, the eighties. Oh, no, 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 the Hornets were actually nice, right? I thought, well, 80s, 90s, yeah, but like 2000s. No. I was going to say, no, because Howard played for the Magic, not the Hornets, so. Yeah, Howard played for the Magic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I can't think about the last time they were relevant. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, hey, wait, wait. Okay, Are they sorry. relevant now? With AD? You said what? No. I said, even now, they're not relevant with AD. Why do you think AD, AD want to leave? So, oh, yeah. so do you think, so are, do you guys think AD's ring chasing? Why well, won't you be? Well, uh, but that seems to be a very sore subject in the NBA right now. <laughs> it seems to be... It seems to be a very sore subject in the NBA. Players ring chasing. Look at what look at what happened with KD. Yeah. No, I mean, wait, 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 check this out. All right, all right, all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Hold on, hold on, hold on. When it comes to that ring chasing subject, like I see players ring chasing because they join certain teams that are good that were already good before, and if you're already a good player and you join a team that's good. Like that's why people get hated now mm-hmm. most of the time. Like, like Golden State. Like Golden State is a perfect example. Like you got DeMarcus Cousins, nigga. You got Kevin Durant. You got Steph Curry. You got Clay Thompson. You got Draymond Green, and the list just goes on. Yeah, and it just goes on. Nothing but just all stars just going down the list. But, but this is the thing, though. You said what? Check this out. You play sports. You play your ass off. Mm-hmm. Every day. You live. You actually do make it to that professional level. You want that the, the, the most prestigious award that you can get in that sport that you've been playing your whole life. So ring chasing isn't a thing to me. It's just like, yo, I worked my ass off all throughout middle school, high school, college, and my professional career. I want a ring. I want a ring. I want to be a world champion. You know what I mean? So that ring chasing, I don't think that that's a real thing. Like, if people were smart, like, uh, this is why I love the NBA. This is why I love the NBA. It's because the players actually have power to choose. Like, yes, I'm going to surround myself with the best players. So I can get a ring. And, and, and that, unlike the NFL, they don't do it like that. The owners own the players. NBA, the players own the game. You know what I mean? Like, so ring chasing? No, he's not ring chasing. He's just trying to get what he wanted for his whole life since he's been playing since elementary school. Okay, but don't... Uh... What about what about the players? Don't you find it more of a respectful like? Don't wouldn't you have more respect for a player who stuck out with a team like the greats? For instance, look at Kobe. Kobe stuck with the Lakers when they had their ups, when they had their downs. Won all his rings with L.A. Uh, you know, Michael Jordan won all his rings with Chicago. Larry Bird won his rings with Boston. Magic won his with L.A. You know, you got you got these you got these old school players who stuck it out with one team. The, that was their team. That was home. If they were great, great. If their team sucked, there was always next year. They didn't they didn't what? leave and go to like a big powerhouse team and everything. But you gotta think of you gotta think of the greats that fell below the wayside. You got your Charles Barkley's of the world. You got your Dan Marinos of the world. You have all these people that, that were great, but they never actually won it. They never won. They never actually went to the big game. Well, they, Ma- the Marino. Game, they never won the big game. Well, Marino did, though. Well, well, he did, but he didn't win, is what I'm saying. And, like, if Marino would have won two, three, he would be in GOAT conversation. He's not even in GOAT conversation. Fair because enough. he doesn't have those ships. He don't got those ships. Okay, 
But I mean, that's what the game is all about. Yeah, the game is about winning that most prestigious award. I I agree with you. It's just that you know, do you think? Because a lot of the people who dislike what you know they call the ring chasers, a lot of the time it's usually the older generation. Is it? Do you think that's because you know they're so used to the old school way of how players stuck it out with one team regardless of how good they were, whereas this, where this younger generation, you know, our generation and you know, the younger generation see these teams as like, these are video game teams. These are like when you used to buy a video game and put all the best players on one team and just rule the league. You know, that's what kind of like what the Warriors are. The Warriors are kind of like a video game team where you got like these major, major superstars all on one team. I tell you this, because I was one of them, Cap. That you know what I'm saying, I will boost all of my players up on Madden and then invite <laughs> people over to play. You know what I'm saying? Did the win still feel good? Hell yeah, it feels good. But, you know, I still enjoy whooping that ass. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Like, you know, it doesn't matter what who your players are, how many like Hall of Famers you got, or nothing like that. That's just how the cookie crumbles. But yes, it equal it still feels good. And that older generation is just thinking in an older generation type way. You know what I'm saying? They also think that, you know, their wives should stay home and just, you know, take care of the kids and keep the house clean. No, I want my wife to have a fire job. I want her to be like a bank manager. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you know so, what I mean? Like, so, you're, so, so with AD wanting out or wanting to go somewhere to have a better chance of winning, you think that's better? For him? Yes, because yes, he is way too talented to waste his talent. Way too talented. That dude is a absolute animal. Like, on the court, he is unstoppable. He's unguardable. He, he, and this kind of brings me back full circle to Zion. AD doesn't have a perimeter shot. AD's not throwing a three. He's still getting you 28, 20 rebounds. Okay. Man, I'll take it. <laughs> like, I'll take that. All right. Well, then, you two, you heard our thoughts on these these trades and everything. Um. So, final words, Don. Final words on the Knicks trade. Yay, nay. Mavericks get a better deal off that. Man, this is my final thought because I am a Knicks fan and I really didn't even want to talk about this. All I gotta say is, my name is Don Mega. My meat dragged the flow. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can say. Cause I can't, I ain't got nothing else to say about the Knicks. I ain't got nothing else to say about them guys. Them cats is crazy. Them knickerbockers are nuts. I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> Magic. Any last thoughts on the Knicks trade? Who Who do you think got the better end of that deal, the Mavs or the Knicks? <sighs> Mavs got the better end of the deal. Mavs got better end of the deal. YouTube, you let us know. Who do you think got the better end of the deal? The Knicks possibly going after Zion this offseason, a better idea for them? The Mavs building up, a, trying to build up a contending team for the Warriors. Who knows? But, Don, hey, let's... Wait, before you hang up this, man, hey, I just want to, uh, all the viewers and stuff like that, I just want y'all to comment on why my man got a V-neck on. <laughs> it ain't cold <laughs> for me. Wait. He looks like he kills in other World of Warcraft. <laughs> <laughs> let him know, viewers. Let him know. Why do I am I wearing a V neck? What do I do in my spare time? <laughs> but, um, all right, all right, viewers, you let us know. You let us know about this AD trade. See where he might go. Will he go Boston? Will he go LA? Or. Like, uh, Magic and Don think he'll go somewhere completely different. You let us know. Would y'all say he was going to go? Honestly, I I don't know where he'll go. I, I kind of see your guys' point on him wanting to make his own thing on a decent okay. team instead of going to a superstar team. Mm-hmm. But, I'm saying that like, why I went to Toronto. Hey, bro, like. Well, why I went to Toronto. They already got LeBron. They, already got, they got LeBron. They got Philip and Lonzo. They got uh, Kuzma. What's his name? Kuzma. Well, Kuzma. Is it Kuzma? 
Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, it's, it's Kyle Kuzma. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like, we're just div- uh, like, I think we just need to get rid of our coach. To be honest, like, uh, well, like, oh, Luke is gone. Luke is out of there. I don't like Luke. I don't like Luke. Luke is out of there. He's gone. Like Luke at all. All right, you guys. You guys, let us know your thoughts. Like I said, like I've said before in our past videos, we're not experts. We just love the game. We love to talk mm-hmm. about these things. You let us know. If you guys have any ideas on what we should debate about next, leave it in the comment below. And then we'll talk to you later. Peace out.